Will Elon Musk face jail for backing out of the Twitter deal? We all remember the infamous $44 billion Twitter deal, right? Just a recap, Elon Musk first promised to buy Twitter for $44 billion back in April. Soon after, Twitter's stock price dropped significantly, and Elon tried to back out of the deal altogether in early July. But of course, he can't do that. On July 12th, Twitter responded by filing a lawsuit against Elon to enforce their original merger agreement. Since news broke out about the lawsuit, there has been talk of a $1 billion fine should Elon still not honor the agreement between him and Twitter. But would that be the end of it? Could Elon eventually face jail because of the Twitter deal? Let's find out in today's video. But before we get started, welcome to Elon Musk Times, the place to be for news about Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, and, you got it, the Twitter deal. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure to hit the bell icon to never miss a video. And now, let's begin. Let's start with some more background information. The Elon Musk and Twitter drama is one that has rocked the tech world for many months now. The CEO of Tesla and SpaceX decided to add the biggest social media platform to his portfolio in April. A couple of days before Musk's offer, it was revealed that he had been purchasing Twitter stocks quietly and is currently the company's second largest shareholder. Seeing himself as an ardent defender of free speech, Musk decided to use his billions for good and purchase the global market square. On April 14th, Musk offered a whopping $43 billion, putting his money where his mouth is. Although other Twitter shareholders were initially resistant to the idea, they soon came to Musk's side of the table. They agreed to sell off the social media company for $44 billion. Both parties arrived at the negotiation table and ironed out the details. Then, trouble broke out. On May 12th, Musk tweeted that the Twitter deal was temporarily on hold. Musk raised concerns about the high rate of bot and spam accounts on the social media platform. During the negotiation talks, Twitter revealed that bot accounts made up less than 5% of the accounts on the platform. Musk, dissatisfied with the figures, required further information to make the calculations himself. When Musk expressed his concerns about the social media platform, the market reacted negatively, and the stock prices dropped sharply, worrying the shareholders and executives of the company. Musk stood his ground, unwilling to make further acquisition moves until Twitter provided him with the information he demanded. Twitter rebutted with a public statement that they had been more than forthcoming with their potential buyer. In the end, Musk decided to call the negotiations off on July 8th, citing the issue of fake accounts as highly unacceptable. While Musk said he is no longer interested in purchasing Twitter, Twitter insists that he must finish what he started. To ensure his compliance, they served him court papers four days later and invited him to present his case before a judge. Twitter insists they made several moves in good faith, acting on the promise that Musk would eventually purchase the company. Pulling out of the acquisition deal now will negatively affect the company. So, let's discuss this lawsuit a bit more. When Musk made his first move on July 8th, Twitter responded with its own move on July 12th. Twitter dragged Musk to the Chancery Court in Delaware, hoping to force him to complete the deal he started. In the 60-page lawsuit they filed to the court, Twitter's legal team called out Musk for trying to wiggle out of his obligations to Twitter and its shareholders. Twitter came out to say that Musk's decision to pull out of the buyout due to the presence of bots is not reason enough to pull the plug on the deal. To that end, Twitter pursued the legal action necessary to enforce the merger agreement by going to the Delaware Court of Chancery. The Delaware Court of Chancery can handle business disputes and order a party to pay up sums of money in terms of restitution. In fact, Musk might be forced to cough up a billion dollars as a termination fee. Twitter assigned Watchtool, Lipton, Rosen, and Kaz LLP to be their legal representative in the battle against the wealthiest man in the world. The legal team then accused Musk of refusing to honor his obligations to Twitter and its stockholders because of the success of the deal no longer serves his personal interests. The law firm accused Musk of creating a public spectacle of Twitter by leading them to believe he was interested in a seller-friendly merger agreement. The complaint accused Musk of attempting to trash the company, disrupt its operations, destroy its stockholder value, and walk away from the carnage he caused. To prevent that, Twitter filed a lawsuit accusing Musk and other Musk parties of wrongful and invalid termination of the contract, which constitutes a repudiation of their obligations under the agreement. To that end, Twitter sued Musk for $54.20 per share and a probable $1 billion separation fee. 
In its letter, Twitter maintains that it will continue to provide Mr. Musk with helpful information as requested under the agreement and will take all necessary steps to complete the transaction. Twitter reserves all contractual, legal, and other rights, including the right to specifically enforce the Musk Party's obligations under the agreement. The lawyers for the complaint and the defendant appeared before the Delaware Court of Chancery Chancellor Kathleen St. Jude McCormick. Twitter's lead counsel, William Savitt, argued for a speedy trial and requested a four-day trial in September. According to Savitt, the uncertainty surrounding the purchase is causing Twitter more harm than good. He further stated that Musk's actions are actually sabotaging the company instead. Musk's legal team, on the other hand, argued for a trial date in February 2023. They argued for a longer date to get their facts in order. They rebuffed Savitt's claims that Musk is trying to run down the company because he is the second largest shareholder in the company. The Delaware Court of Chancery Chancellor Kathleen St. Jude McCormick decided to rule in favor of Twitter after hearing both sides of the argument. According to her, delay threatens irreparable harm to Twitter, and the longer the delay, the greater the risk. Chancellor McCormick set the trial date for October 2022 in her ruling. So, what is the likely outcome of this lawsuit? Several potential outcomes could result from the coming trial. The unpredictable nature of the lawsuit makes it an interesting watch for those who don't have billions of dollars hanging on the court's decision. Musk might be forced by the court to return to the negotiation table. He might also be able to slither through the lawsuit paying only the remuneration fee. It's also possible that Musk might walk out of the saga without paying a penny. There is every possibility this entire saga is a drama orchestrated by Musk himself to get Twitter to lower its selling price. Past precedents, cases like Tiffany and LVMH show that Twitter might want to avoid an expensive and protracted lawsuit. Twitter might not have any other choice but to accept the reduced offer Musk offers if he does present one. However, if the decision by the Chancellor is anything to go by, the courts might not be in Musk's favor. That begs an interesting question. Is Musk possibly going to jail because of the Twitter saga? It's improbable. Imprisonment in issues like this is often considered a last resort measure. The Delaware Chancery Court has the authority to imprison someone if they do not obey an order. While the court might not start with prison, it's not entirely off the table. Musk might be behind bars if he constantly refuses to follow the court's instructions. If anyone knows anything about Musk, it's that he does not shrink from a fight. He has constantly been at loggerheads with different authority agencies like the Securities and Exchange Commission. This trial could very well test Musk's patience and respect for the court. If he doesn't like and respect the court's decision, he could very well react in a way that will end up in incarceration. Whatever the outcome, the trial set for October is clearly going to be an exciting drama. There are numerous ways the court ruling could go and different ways Musk and Twitter could react. The court proceedings will be a revelation and could set a new precedent for the business world for years to come. Right, so what do you guys think? Will Elon walk away from the deal? Or do you think he'll eventually be able to buy Twitter for a much lower price? Or will he push it too far and face jail time? Let us know in the comments below, or please leave a fist bump if you like the video. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss our next video. And we'll see you in the next one.